Dr. Zoli, federal judges have found that at least two of your facilities, Adelanto in California and the Broward Transitional Center in Florida, or BTC, were creating unreasonable risk to detainees. In the case of Adelanto, the judge found that the facility had created a massive risk of COVID-19 infection. The DHS Office of Civil Rights and Civil Liberties in inspecting Adelanto also recently found failures in leadership, quote, contributed to the inadequate detainee medical care that resulted in medical injuries. In the case of BTC, among other facilities in Florida, a judge recently found that the conditions rose to deliberate indifference and recently raised concerns about a continued failure to provide detainees with bare minimum necessities, tantamount to the infliction of cruel and unusual punishment. Again, these are the words straight from the court and the judge. How can we take your assurances today seriously when your facilities repeatedly fail to live up to the basic standards? We think our facilities are not only meeting the standards, but exceeding them. And, you know, I, we have on site medical staff uh, as well as on site ICE presence that helps oversee whether we're meeting the contractual requirements. And uh, well, ICE has a very sophisticated uh, health services unit that also oversees all the health services at all ICE facilities. And I think okay. it's really hard uh, to any uh, healthcare correctional organization in the world. Okay, well, Dr. Zoli, I mean, I, I just remind you that these are words from a court and from a judge. Um, in addition, um, findings from the Office of Civil Rights and Civil Liberty, which I concurred with, um, made these findings. So if you, if you really don't see how that's a concern, and that you don't believe it's happening, I think that maybe there needs to be a real a sit down and a look into how there's such a huge difference between what these uh, office is saying and what the judge is saying, which differs to from what we're hearing from you today.